What's up, YouTube? So today I'm gonna be removing this emergency brake cable from this car, and then I'm gonna be dropping the gas tank. After I build these, I'm gonna work on getting this emergency brake cable out, and then I'm going to um, think about it. Low key, I can remove it from from here instead of here, but then I have to add them back to here. I don't know. <gasps> But yeah, I'm about to remove this first. And then um, after I remove this, then I'm gonna get this put on a dolly so I can get this out of my way and put it over there so I can start exchanging parts with it for now. And then um, after I move the rear end, I am going to drop the gas tank. And then the gas tank, I won't be able to put up because of the simple fact I still need fuel lines and brake lines and i believe if i put that up first that gets in the way um if it doesn't get in the way then i'll put the gas tank up inside the car but um i'm pretty sure it will be in the way for me putting up the fuel line brake line so i'm trying to find that because right now i'm getting closer and closer to where that's very vital for me to finish and i even searched at the dealer and they're on back order with no ETA. Like they don't have any, no, no dealer in the country has them, which is crazy. So I'm gonna search out some, search some part outs. Apparently the brake line and the fuel line is the same across RT, Scat Pack, Hellcat, 300, it's all the same, apparently. If not, I'm gonna try to like make my 300 ones work because it's crazy, like, that the brake lines and stuff is it is that long to get some in stock and he said he has no clue when they're gonna be ready or whatever so i'm going to i'm not going to mess with the engine today guys i'm probably going to mess with that tomorrow because i gotta stop the cap to work today um but i am going to I'm really trying to finalize the swap. I'm gonna see what I could do with the engine today and um, if I can do anything really. It is later in the day. I started later in the day already. So, I mean, it kind of sucks, um, but I gotta get this content for you guys. And really quick, somebody said that, or two, a couple people said that it seems like I'm doing it the harder way. And I actually have no idea to what you guys are talking about. So if you guys know, or uh, if you guys, would mind letting me know what you guys are talking about that would be grateful i mean that would be great because uh that would be great because i literally have no clue what you guys are talking about like if if i'm doing something the harder way just let me know like what exactly you guys are talking about and then um i may have an explanation to why that is so let me uh go and do this really quick and then um i'll catch you guys in a second all right y'all so as y'all can see i am working on taking trying to trying to get these dollies under this and then <clears throat> and um it's going all right so far. I got one on this side. I had to take this, uh, the rest of what was flopping off. All I had to do was just unbolt the, the tie rod, as y'all can see. Bro, when I tell you this is heavier than what you expect it to be, this is heavier than what you expect it to be. But um, other than that, I have a transmission jack slash bike looking jack whatever you want to call it I, it's a transmission jack but it looks like a bike jack too um i am going to try to get the other wheel dolly right there where to match the other side um i don't know if i'll be able to get it there but i am going to try uh, i might be able to use this low profile jack <clears throat> to get right there i'm gonna try that real quick actually Ugh. Ugh. so 
Yeah, I don't have anything to lift on. But yeah, y'all. Also, also, um, I am able to still use this this dolly because uh, Harbor Freight sells casters. I didn't know that. The lady told me that at the desk. She's like, "Why didn't you just try to replace it with the wheel?" <laughs> Cause we have a whole section of it. I'm like, I didn't even know you guys had that. So yeah, I have, I guess I'm developing allergies or something. I don't know, but this is crazy. Anyway, I am about to try and uh, get this other vehicle dolly under the back of the subframe. So uh, I can try to scoot this thing out. Um, it's still not gonna be easy to get out regardless because uh, this thing is heavy. This thing is heavy as hell. Um, it's way heavier than the rear end. It's an engine. The engine itself is, I think, 800 pounds, um, along with all this other stuff. So this is a lot of weight, bro. And uh, I mean, these these vehicle dollars are weighted for 1,500 pounds, and this is most, this is not past 1,500 pounds. Um, but this is. A very heavy thing and uh, I am gonna try to get it I'm gonna try man I'm gonna try so I'll catch y'all in a second my phone is dying and um, I am going to try to get this out all right y'all so I got the <laughs> engine out I uh, accidentally broke a few connectors slightly. Uh, I cracked the plastic on the uh, some two or, or three of the coil connectors because coming out this way, you would think by the crash being even on both sides, kind of, this would be an even opening. But even with this opening, um, it still was very tight, a very tight fit. But I got it in here. And I'm going to attempt to get it right here so I can get the Challenger towed out of here. And then I'll work on that later on at the storage before the buyer comes by and comes and buy it, comes to buy it. Um, I have to take the gas tank out still, but oh my God. You see you're caught. You're caught, bro. Get, get down. <sighs> anyway, um, after I get the Challenger dragged out of here uh, and onto the storage, um, I will remove everything from inside of it. And uh, I still got to remove a few things, as you guys have seen. But most part, this is what we needed. And... Um, after I get the Challenger out of here, that's when I'll be worrying worrying about this to put it onto that subframe. And I do have to order, it's a standalone harness that plugs into this electric, here. So for the electric power steering rack, it's a standalone harness that plugs into this and then plugs on to it's one of these plugs. I think it's, it's, I think it's one of these. Yeah, it's one of these big ones. Um, but it is its own standalone harness that plugs into one of those. And uh, I, I think it's only like fifty dollars, so it's not, it's not expensive. Also, somebody told me that I'd be able to use the fuel lines and the brake lines from the Challenger. I don't think so. I don't think so because um challenger the lines are shorter and uh, uh just as the drive shaft is and the exhaust is four inches shorter you would figure the um you would figure the brake lines and the gas lines are shorter as well so i i'll take them out of here and just test fit them but i, I don't think they're gonna work but somebody told me they put it in their swap for a gen 2 charger well a gen 2 new body charger um, and it worked, so I'm gonna try that. I don't think they'll work though. Uh, I have three wheel dolly. I, well, 
so to drag this out i had two wheel dollies in it initially and i just put this one under there right now because i'm going to try to drag it sideways um as y'all can see i still left the, the drive shaft connected and all i might try to see if somewhere somewhere can extend that drive shaft uh i don't know if they'll be able to but um i am going to try to see if that's possible because i still have not found a uh challenger hellcat or charger hellcat um drive shaft so i, I want to get the brake lines and the drive shaft like over with first because currently it is six days away until Chevy's event and i'm trying to get my swap done and uh i'm trying to make it to the event man so i got i just i gotta get these few parts and um so uh, i am gonna disconnect oh my god that's super bent up now yeah but i am going to uh disconnect this uh the brake lines and stuff from the car um i will need a new connector because this connector is broken uh i did break a few things just um on accident not being aware as far as like the fuel line and the uh the fuel line and the uh the, co the coils only way i could have avoided that is if i had a lift and uh lifted the car up high so it can surpass the fuel or the frame rails and um i really couldn't as you guys can see i don't have any more jack stands these two are holding the front of the car up jacks are holding the back of the car up and then all the jack stands are on this car <laughs> and um i'm really trying to get this over with and um again for most part none of this none of this stuff is damaged or so or anything so um i'm, I'm glad about that but as y'all can see here's one of them that's broke it's like the, the plastic on it that's broke um i have some other coil packs anyway they are all the same across uh most of uh, all the hemis i believe um because I've had a lot of coil packs from these engines. Um, I have a bunch of, so even if I just order some aftermarket coil packs, that gives me a reason to order them. Um, if they work and, and everything, I mean, I'm not gonna mess with that. Um, but I do see that introducing a problem to if I wanna like wash my engine bay or my engine um those connectors are slightly exposed so i will have to uh replace the coils i'm a, it doesn't even matter to me y'all i'm just glad this out i'm not gonna lie to y'all um i did make a few mistakes here and there but for again for the most part for the 90 percent part it's it's out bro um with with no problem so um let me unhook this and then hook this in a different spot probably like right here on this by this motor mount and then uh i'll get back to you guys after i um i guess scooted over scooted over successfully or uh success or fail at scooting this over i'll let you guys know what happens so I'll catch y'all in a second. All right, y'all. So I got it over here to the side. And I am about to take off the suspension stuff right here. Um, because, again, I can't use the subframe at all. So um, the only thing that is going to be still uh, attached to this is the, uh, the sway bar. And that's because the sway bar is bent on this side, as you can see. So... Um, after I pull this off, I'm going to pull it back a little bit so I can have it on side of the Hellcat right here. Well, the Challenger now, because now nah, I'm playing. Yeah, I'm pull it like on side of the Hellcat right here, 
in this area. So, um, all I got to do now is drop the gas tank after I take off the suspension parts. Um, I'm going to take off, I'm going to take it off from right here. And then I'm going to take it off from here. Should be able to, yeah, should be able to get a wrench right there. I'll take it off from right here, here, and where else is it connected? Right here, and here. Damn, and here. So we got quite a few things to disconnect um, off this suspension. Let me get this disconnected, and um, I'll catch y'all in a few minutes after I do that. That shouldn't take really no time, and then dropping the gas tank it has a quarter tank a quarter tank of gas in it just a, just about uh maybe a little bit lower but um i am going to drop that and hopefully no gas spills anywhere and uh then i'm gonna be done stripping the hellcat just about I, oh yeah i gotta disconnect these brake lines and literally that's it that's it so a couple more steps and then we'll be all ready to start working strictly on the 300 again and get the 300 running um, at the storage unit. That's where I'm going to take off the, or I might do it here, to take off the door harnesses for the door. I might I might do that here. So um, let, let me get everything situated. Let me do this. And then let me... Um, drop the gas tank so I can get back to you guys in a bit. Also, really quick, uh, I believe this just pops down. This has pop tab or uh, push tabs to push pull this down for the brake line and the fuel lines. Um, and then we just take these fittings off here. But other than that, let me do this and then I'll get back to y'all. All right, y'all, so as y'all can see, <sighs> we got the suspension off. Um, I'm current, somebody's currently telling me that I can use the brake lines on my 300 or the ones from here. Um, so I'm trying the ones on 300 right now and they weren't, I mean, they're kind of, they're wrong, but. Um, so this here, this one bolts right up to the box. I didn't tighten all the way down yet, but it, it goes in there. This one, however, it doesn't thread in there. Like it, it gets one turn on it and then it comes right back out. So, I mean, I would love to not have to worry about brakes, but um, I mean, if this doesn't work, I can't really do anything, you know? So, um, I still have something in line for picking up some brake lines for a hundred dollars. Um, if I don't have to spend a hundred dollars, that'd be great. But um, we're getting so close tomorrow. I am going to, and today I didn't even start early. I started very late today. So tomorrow, uh, what I'm gonna be worried about is taking the engine off of this subframe and uh, uh, putting it onto that subframe and um, of course I'll also I got it bro so here's a Hellcat shock uh, this thing's heavy but y'all gonna know this as soon as I bring them next to each other so let's just sit this right here So, y'all see any differences? Right there. This is from a Hellcat. This is from a wide body scat pack. This one right here, this is from a wide body scat pack. This is from the Hellcat. 
Now, let's not break another one because I, I think I already broke that one. I think that one's broken because it are it leaked out some fluid. It not not a lot, but it did leak out. So I might have to replace that. Um, other than that, I have to replace these with the Hellcat ones. Then I'll sell these. These only have, um, I think, 9,000 miles on them or 15,000. I, I got to remember it. I got to look it through the messages. But um, these are fresh pretty much. They're from a 2022, I think. I think it's a 2022 or a 21. It's, it's from a newer Scat Pack wide body. Um if you want if you want them or you're interested in them uh dm me at and you can find my instagram in the description uh, if you're interested in those at all but um i am going to be reusing these spindles and stuff like that from here um th there's nothing wrong with the hellcat ones but these are all these are newer than than the hellcat ones with less miles um i gotta order this harness today uh so it can come uh, I'm I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. I just thought about it, cause I'm ordering the stuff through eBay. eBay isn't like Amazon, where the stuff will pop up next day or same day, or you know. So I might be missing out on Shay's event, which sucks. But um, every event after that, for sure, I'm gonna be at. So if you have any event that you are interested in or you're interested in going, I am gonna be there. Uh, with the Hellcat 300. Um, I'm really trying to get things together, man. This stuff would have been done days and days ago if it didn't rain, for one. It rained like three days in a row. Then it, uh, the subframe on this car wanted to give me problems. So, it's just a lot, bro. So, um, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for the fuel lines as well. Uh, I am going. To, I'm gonna take the gas tank down tomorrow because I, I gotta pack up stuff and, and put stuff away. But it's it's almost time. It's almost time. It is getting so close to time. Um, I'm excited. Hope you guys are excited as well. I, I know some of you guys said you are. I can't wait for this build. And I can't wait for all the content to come with it. Um, and as you guys know. I told you guys before, the wrap is coming soon. Um, I would say probably about two months for the wrap. Because I want to get all my body work sorted out. Get get all the other stuff sorted out before I wrap it. Um, I am taking this side molding off. I do not want that on there. Uh, I mean, I, I'm trying to make this thing 100% right now it's not going to be 100 percent when it's uh, after i even when i put the motor and get it started and stuff it won't be 100 percent because um it's a challenger harness right now and um i do have the back doors uh, i i did get information on how to wire them uh, from a buddy of mine who has a challenger harness in his charger and um his locks and his windows work perfect on his back doors so um, I am going to end this video and catch you guys tomorrow, man. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, and uh, stick stick with me till I guess the end. But um, I'll catch y'all tomorrow.